then later that day, hopefully the same day, I received a second email with a new code. When this second visitor arrives, he repeats the code and I show him to the storage room. He views the contents of the contraband and if he's satisfied, he removes the goods and he's on his merry way. I like what I hear. So, think you can handle that? This contraband. Now, it ain't drugs, Harry, so don't worry. What we'll tell you is that you're going to be doing your country a great service by allowing these transactions to take place under your watch. That's all I'm going to tell you. I know I'm being watched, that's a given. I'm not an idiot. But why does your uncle have to have some goon out on my street where everyone can see him? <sighs> Harry. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Your Uncle Joe has one of his goons out here on the street where everyone can see him. It's freaking me the hell out. It's, it should be done in a better way than this. Uh, I don't know, Harry. But I'll talk to him. You bet the hell you will. <laughs> Good night, Harold. Good night, dear. Was your friend back? What friend? The guy in the black pajamas, or whatever it was. Uh, no, I didn't see anyone. Nicotine poisoning. Uh, whatever you say, Elaine. Has anyone seen my umbrella? The weatherman says rain this afternoon. Nope. Try the attic. I took a few up there last fall, in the blue bucket. I already looked there. There's nothing there. And then I can't help you, dear. I haven't seen one since. Oh, brother, you two are so wrapped up in... Who knows what? Here, you want to see me? Yeah, shut the door. Did you talk to him? Sure did. Said that ain't one of our guys. That's what he said? Mm-hmm. I don't believe it. Look, Harry, it's not the way we work. It's too conspicuous. Well, then, what else could it be? Mr. Marlowe, you have a visitor in the lobby. President. There's life on Mars. Oh, yeah. Take your truck around back to docking bay seven. I'll see you there in five minutes. Thank you very much.
Joe, you're wasting your time. Good night, dear. Holy mother of God, shut off the frickin' light already. In a minute. What, are you scared? The boogeyman's gonna come get you? You need your night light? Hardy har. Just rapping with the fuzz. Can you dig it? Huh? The fuzz backstage. They said the new state throughway was closed, man. The Woodstock movie, I remember that. We'll take your truck around back to Docking Bay 7 and wait for me there. This dude is so there. I got a little problem here. Oh, brother. What is it? Uh, you know the new shipping clerk we hired? Uh, Leo or something? All right, I think so. What about him? He's a slop off. He came in drunk today. Tried to sleep his hangover off. McDonough just told me about it. Says he can smell it on him. So apply our disciplinary procedures. I'm not done yet, Eric. This dip goes into the bin, lays down on the bin, starts trying to sleep it off. He looks in the bin, sees the goods, comes back and then tells McDonough about it. It's my fault. I, f I forgot to lock it. I know, but don't worry. This is all going to get taken care of. The, throw this Leo out on his ass. Oh, here, I think you know it goes beyond that. What do you mean it goes beyond that? Come on, Harry. Do I need to spell it out for you? Fine. Fine. Just don't tell me anymore. Just shut up and get out. Do what you got to do. I didn't hear anything. Blah, blah, blah. One more thing here, you know this, this supplies to McDonough as well. No, no, that's where I put my foot down. I'm not gonna have any of this. Just don't even go there. 